In a world overtaken by the walking dead, your choice of transportation can be a matter of life or death. I thought it would be fun to look at and figure out what would be the top three vehicles I would look for in preparation for the, the end of times. In this video, I'm going to take you through my top three picks, as well as a couple of honorable mentions, and why I picked each one. When I stopped to think about what cars I would consider in a post apocalyptic world, I had several criteria that I came up with. The first, obviously, is reliability. You need a vehicle that you can rely on and don't have, that's not fussy or uh, is constantly breaking down. If you've got zombies chasing you, the last thing you need is a car breaking down. You want to know when you get in, it's going to start and get you out of any situation. Second criteria I would look for is simplicity. Less moving parts means greater reliability but also the ability to fix something. So I considered rides known for their simplicity that don't rely on gadgetry to make them run reliably. In the end of times, you don't have the ability to go down to your local auto parts store and pick up the supplies you need. You're going to find yourself foraging through junkyards or other abandoned driveways looking for the car parts you need. Consequently, you'll need to choose a ride that if something breaks, you can chase down spare parts relatively easily. Fourth is fuel economy. If the end times come, you'll need to manage your resources as, as efficiently as possible. So I considered rides that are very fuel efficient rather than ones that are gas guzzlers. The other thing to consider is how far you're going to travel. Now in my case, I'm far enough outside of the Philadelphia and New York City metro areas uh, that I would pretty much shelter in place. The only time I might need a vehicle is to go out hunting uh, and probably more importantly going to refill my water supply. Therefore my main concern would be having a simple reliable vehicle that's economic on fuel that could get me back and forth safely to my home base. With those criteria in mind, here are my personal choices for traveling in a post-apocalyptic world. It's a 200-year-old Volkswagen. <laughs> oh, they really built these things, didn't they? Number three, without a doubt, would be a classic air-cooled Volkswagen Beetle. This iconic car might not be the first choice in a zombie apocalypse, but it is a sleeper hit in terms of survival. The horizontally opposed flat four air-cooled engine in the original Volkswagen Beetle is incredibly simple. The compact size of the Beetle allows you to navigate narrow terrain and escape tight situations with ease. As someone who grew up in the snow belt of western New York driving a 71 Volkswagen Super Beetle, as a daily driver in my college years, the rear weight bias of an air-cooled Volkswagen Beetle gives them ample traction, especially if they have uh, snow tires mounted. If you've watched the videos on my 928, the fuel issues I had when I first got that car a couple years ago, today's modern fuel, even after a year or so, if it hasn't been treated, is a disaster. In the short term, you can assume that you would be able to forage for gasoline in local tanks. You might have to siphon them out, but at least you could keep the car running in the short term. Longer term, though, if uh, supplies of gas would eventually run out or the supplies themselves would be stale and unusable. That's why my next two choices rely on diesel power, particularly not computer-controlled diesel power. Nurse Nancy's 2015 Audi A3 TDI is a wonderful car uh, that relies on modern electronics and, and emission controls to make it a clean diesel. And while it reliably provides over 40 miles to the gallon on modern diesel fuel, I'm concerned an EMP attack would wipe out the computers controlling what is otherwise a simple diesel engine. So I'm looking at two options that are a little bit older. My next choice would be either a third or fourth generation Toyota Hilux pickup produced between 1979 and 1988. If I could, while well, the, the 22 and 22R inline four gas powered motors are without question very robust, I would try to source one with the 2.2 liter diesel engine for the reasons I've already specified. These trucks 
are virtually indestructible. If you've ever watched the British TV show Top Gear, the Top Gear crew tries to famously kill off a Toyota Hilux pickup from this era. Even at one point, placing it on top of a building and then finding even after it fell off a demolished building, it was able to start with minimal amount of tools. It is a solid candidate. Before I get to my number one pick, I'm going to mention a couple of our honorable mentions. The first is the Volvo 240 series. These rear wheel drive, four cylinder power workhorses put Volvo on the map. Unfortunately, the vast majority of the Volvo 240 imported into the US were gas powered and their age is getting it, making it a little tough to find parts. Some other vehicles I considered was anything made by American Motors with the 258 inline six. That engine was produced for over 30 years and can be found in a variety of American Motors cars and most commonly the Jeep CJ variants. So while the AMC's 258 cubic inch inline six has earned a solid reputation as a reliable engine, uh, with it being out of production for nearly two decades now, it could be potentially hard to find parts and even in compact car form, they weren't very fuel efficient. So that brings me to my top choice. And that is without a doubt, the Mercedes-Benz W123 generation produced from the mid seventies through the mid eighties. The Mercedes-Benz W123 came in a variety of body styles that included a two door hardtop, a four door sedan, and most impressively, a, four, a five door wagon or a state. This generation was most notable in the station wagon category as it was the first station wagon produced in-house by Mercedes-Benz. Prior to that, they outsourced wagon bodies to companies like Binz and others to produce them. While the early versions of this generation of car offered a four cylinder inline diesel, the 77 horsepower, barely adequate to get out of its own way, let alone if you've got slow moving zombies chasing you. The most desirable version of these cars is finding one with the OM617 inline five cylinder turbocharged example. These were found in early 80s examples of the North America uh, 300 TD estate. And these engines have proven to be very reliable. If you follow my Wagon Wednesday blog posts, hardly a week goes by that I don't find one uh, that's in great shape. These cars, even with 200,000 miles on them, are still fetching in excess of $15,000. And nicely uh, maintained examples with zero rust can push $30,000. They're worth every penny of it as this car as these cars are rock solid can drive through just about anything despite their rear wheel just being rear wheel drive and the engines will last in excess of a half a million miles while i prefer the styling of the two-door hardtop in the w123 the practicality of the wagon body style in post-apocalyptic times is what i would lean towards so my top pick is the iconic diesel powered W123 Mercedes-Benz. In a dystopian world full of zombies, these cl classic cars might not be the obvious choices, but they do offer unique advantages that would be crucial for your survival. Remember, when it comes to the uh, undead, classic cars with exceptional durability and versatility can be your best companions. What would be your choice of these three? Do you have an alternative I didn't consider? Please comment below and let me know what your choice would be and why. Have a happy and safe Halloween, and let's hope this never comes to fruition. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching this video. Please press the like and subscribe button, comment below, and be sure to check out our other videos on this subject, as well as all of the great content on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can call me at the number listed below, or be sure to check out our main website guyswithrides.com.